Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Savvy and X. We all know that cell is a basic structural and functional unit of life. But even this cell has subcellular structures inside of it that helps the cell to perform different functions. I think you might have guessed what we're going to learn today. Yes, we're going to learn about the cell organelles. There's going to be two videos about cell organelles and in each video we're going to learn three cell organelles. So before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you'll get a notification as soon as I upload a video. So now, without further ado, let's get started. So the first cell organ that we're going to be learning is the endoplasmic reticulum or you can call it as ER. So this endoplasmic reticulum is connected to the nucleus. So this ball-like structure is the nucleus and it's connected. So these are the endoplasmic reticulum. This is connected because it acts as a connection between the nucleus and the cytoplasm for transporting materials. And it also transports materials in various parts of the cytoplasm. So it helps in that. Now this endoplasmic reticulum is of two types. So the first type is the rough endoplasmic reticulum or you can call it as RER. The second type is smooth endoplasmic reticulum and you can call it SER. So this rough endoplasmic reticulum appears rough under the microscope. This is because it has ribosomes on its surface. So you can see here right the ribosomes that are embedded it makes it look rough. These ribosomes are the dot like structures which are there on the RER. So this is the RER. And this SER does not have ribosomes. That's why it appears smooth. So this is the SER. See, you can see that there's ribosomes which is RER, no ribosome, then it's SER. So this ribosomes helps in the protein synthesis of the cell. So it helps in the protein synthesis of the cell. It's the site of protein synthesis. Ribosome is the site of protein synthesis and it's embedded on the rough endoplasmic surface. So moving on to smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So this uh, involves in the synthesis of lipids. Lipids or fats both are same and it also synthesizes glycogen. Now glycogen it is the uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It converts extra glucose into glycogen. That is what is glycogen. So along with this, there is also one of the main feature of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is it detoxifies the poisons and drugs. Poisons and drugs, it detoxifies. Where is it detoxified? In the vertebrates of liver cells. So what it means, means the animals, the organisms that have a backbone. So in that vertebrates, they have liver cells. So in that liver cells, if any poisons or drugs are coming, then it de this SCR will detoxify them. So this is one of the main important feature of the SCR. So this endoplasmic reticulum also has one more function, which is it involves in the membrane biogenesis. What is membrane biogenesis? Some proteins and some lipids together will be made, combined to form the cell membrane. So you know what is a cell membrane? It, con it covers, it provides a structure to the cell and if there is no cell membrane, then there would be no structure and the cell components will collapse. That's why this is a very important function of the endoplasmic reticulum. So, together the proteins and the lipids for uh, involved in the membrane biogenesis process. So, this is about the first cell organelle that we have learned. Next, we will move on to the second type of the cell organelle. So, the second cell organelle that we will be learning is the Golgi apparatus. This Golgi apparatus is found by Camilo Golgi. So, he formed the Golgi apparatus and this Golgi apparatus is a system of cisterns. These are known as cisterns. These, these are like flattened sacs and they are arranged parallel to each other and they are called cisterns. And these bag-like structures are called vesicles. So, this Golgi apparatus is connected to the endoplasmic reticulum. 
So, the endoplasmic reticulum sends its products through the vesicles. So, this vesicles transport the products from the endoplasmic reticulum to the Golgi apparatus. And this Golgi apparatus involves in the storage, modification and packaging of these products which are coming in vesicles. So, it stores, modifies and packages the products. So, the Golgi apparatus are present as dictyosomes in plant cells. The animal cell is a complex cell. That's why the Golgi apparatus is present as a single and highly functioning organelle. Whereas, the plant cell is a simple cell. That's why the Golgi apparatus is present as dictyosomes. These dictyosomes are many simpler and single units of Golgi apparatus. And last but not the least, Golgi apparatus also involves in the formation of lysosomes. So lysosomes is also another cell organelle and these cell organelles also has its own role in helping the cell perform its functions. So the next cell organelle that we will be learning is the lysosomes. So let's move on to the lysosomes. So the third cell organelle that we are going to be learning today are the lysosomes. So the lysosomes contain enzymes. They are sac-like structures that contain enzymes. These enzymes are made by the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So the lysosomes are involved in the waste disposal of the cell organelles. So if any cell organelle is dead or they are damaged, then the lysosomes will release their enzymes. And these enzymes are also known as digestive enzymes. So these enzymes will digest those cell organelles and they will remove them. So this is what is the main function of the lysosomes. And if any cell is damaged, if any cell is damaged, then it has to be removed from our body, right? Because if it stays in our body, then it's very harmful. So these lysosomes will release their enzymes and it will kill their own cellular components. That's why these lysosomes are known as suicidal bags. Because they kill their own cellular components, not like any other cell organelles. So these are the main functions which is releasing the hydrolyte. High, uh, so these are the main functions which the lysosomes will re release their enzymes for. And if any foreign particles enter the cell, like bacteria, food particles, if they enter the cell, then they are sent to the lysosomes. These lysosomes due to their enzymes will digest and make it into simpler substances. It will make bacteria and food into simpler substances. And these lysosomes have many enzymes and one of those enzymes are hydrolytic enzymes. This is a main enzyme which is used for digesting the cellular components. So this lysosomes has a very very important role in the cell organelle functions. So I hope you understood all about the three cell organelles in this video and in the part 2 video we will be learning the remaining three cell organelles. So stay tuned for the next video. So friends if you have any queries or if you want any concept to be clarified then please drop this in the comment section and I will be taking a video of that very soon. And I have put a lot of hard work into making this video so that you guys could understand and if you feel that these videos are making you to understand a lot better then please feel free to subscribe to my channel and like my videos it really supports me and it means a lot to me so thanks for watching friends i'll see you all in my next video bye friends